Well, a lot of announcements this month, including Canon's M6 Mark II. And we're gonna break this thing down today. We're gonna to chat about it a little bit and find out if it's worth considering here in 19. I feel like this camera might be a little bit late to the table. Let's go. The Canon M6 Mark II. And it looks like Canon's actually pulling out all the stops here and they know they're in a bit of trouble. So hopefully they've kind of caught on here and given people what they need. And on paper, I think this camera looks pretty decent, but it is a little bit late to the party if you ask me. But let's jump in, what is it? Well, it's an EF M mount camera. And unfortunately there still aren't a heck of a lot of lenses for it, but it is an interchangeable lens camera. For the size of the camera, you find it working well for a lot of vloggers, a lot of people traveling, and a lot of hobbyists. Inside you'll find Canon's infamous dual pixel autofocus, a new 32.5 megapixel sensor, 4K video at 30p, and 1080 at 120. This thing will shoot 14 frames per second stills. It has a Digic 8 processor, eye detection AF in both stills and video, a 3-inch pivoting LCD touchscreen, and decent ISO range capability. So because this camera is unreleased, there's still a lot of things that we don't know, but there's some things that we can speculate on, of course, and hopefully that this camera needs to hit a few marks. Um, one being battery life. Now, of course, the last and previous generation of the M-Series cameras, their battery life is not good. It's not good at all. And this is a vlogging camera, so it'd be nice to see a little bit of a bump in battery life. That's just something that I'm throwing out there. As well, is there gonna be a crop in video? And for me, that's gotta be a no. There can't be a crop in video. If it does, it's gotta be a pretty small one, maybe in 4K. But for the most part, I think we've pretty much had it with crops in video, especially from Canon. That's kind of a big one. And hopefully no time limit on each clip. Another thing to consider about this camera, sure, it shoots 14 frames per second, which is very quick. And that's great, but this isn't a camera that's designed for sports or wildlife. The lens selection of this camera is very limited, so I'm not really sure where this camera's going. And there, it's kind of questionable in a few things. I think this is kind of like a entry mid-level camera for people that just want to have something small in the bag that maybe do a little bit of blogging, a little bit of shooting just for fun. By no means this is a professional camera, but again, we don't actually know the price yet either. And I think they have to really kill it with the price to keep this reasonable as well. It does have a optional electronic viewfinder that sits on top and I think it's about two or $300, which is not included. So that's just gonna add to the price of this thing. But I think Canon, if they are really gonna have a success with this camera, it's gotta be priced really, really well, really aggressively. And keep in mind, it's also competing against things like the newer announced RX100 from Sony, the Mark 7, and that's basically a point and shoot A9. That thing is incredible. It is a bit pricey, but again, it's along the same lines of the camera, basically the same capabilities. So it'll be interesting to see what this thing's priced at. And of course you can use one of your EF mount adapters uh, to throw your EF glass on there. Um, but for the most part, yeah, this is kind of a weird camera for me still. So yeah, just taking a step back and chatting about this camera, this release from Canon, I think it's a step in the right direction for sure. And I, I'm still a little bit confused where this M series kind of fits and who's interested in it, just because it is a little bit awkward when you have EF glass, you have M series glass, you've got the new RF mount glass. It'd be great for them to just kind of amalgamate them into like an E mount like Sony does. You can use your full frame on your EP APS-C and uh, it's easy like that, but I want to know your thoughts. I'm just kind of spitballing here. It's great to chat about it, and I want to know your thoughts and ideas about this release and what you think. There's also the 90D coming up. I might make a quick video on that again. That's pretty exciting. I did have the 80D. Love that camera. Hopefully it's mirrorless and whatnot, but just wanted to chat about this one real quick. And I uh, hope you like this video, guys. We'll leave it at that. If you did, consider hitting that like and subscribe button, and make sure you drop your questions or comments down below. Like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.